assets and management in excess of over four trillion dollars and actively participate in Ghana's your bond issuers. As in the previous years, the government speaks directly with the investor base and assures them of the steady progress towards economic rebound anchored on fiscal consolidation and debt sustainability. A Deputy Minister for Finance, Mr. Charles Edubwahing, said the engagement has impacted the market positively and concerns raised on the 2022 budget were addressed. They mentioned clarity on the policy to cut 2022 expenditure by 20% across the board, status of the e-levy bill before Parliament, and Ghana's relationship with the IMF, and whether the government has plans to undertake any program with the fund. The IMF remains a trusted advisor to government and continues to engage government through multilateral surveillance, technical assistance commission, and capacity building. In July 2021, the IMF successfully conducted an article four consultation with the government and engaged authorities during staff visits. The government will continue to share regular updates on the economy with the IMF and remain optimistic for an article four consultation in the first half of 2022. The first Deputy Governor of Bank of Ghana, Dr. Maxwell Pukwafari, said, as indicated by the Finance Minister, the quarterly expenditure ceilings of the approved budget will include up to a 20% downward adjustment beginning the first quarter of 2022. You cut expenditure significantly by 20%. You expect to have different types of implications for that in terms of growth because you might have import compression taking place which are some of the key components of uh, uh, intermediate products that go into growth you may also have its implication on others and so all that have been factored in including the efficiency and expenditure that the ministry of finance is putting in place on financing the government already has 750 million dollars special drawing rights sdr out of the budgeted external financing of 1.5 billion dollars for 2022 the finance ministry says the remainder would be financed by multilateral and bilateral sources and other instruments also the depth of the domestic market has improved in recent times however the government is mindful of the cost of borrowing from the domestic market.